everyone and welcome back to Ivy Jade and if you're new welcome to the channel today I'm going to be talking to you guys about another part of my weight loss slash health healthy lifestyle change and journey that I'm doing and I am starting a new diet and I wanted to share it with you guys and maybe some of the options that I'm talking to you about can be helpful for you if you're doing the same diet or if you just want to be healthy in general. You can incorporate some of these things into your diet. Before we get into the video, you already know, if you like lifestyle videos and videos like these, vlogs, and so much more, make sure to subscribe down below and turn on your post notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a brand new video. While you go do that, I'm going to take a drink of my water. Go ahead. I'll wait. You done? Okay. Welcome back. The diet that I am talking about is called the keto diet. I'm sure many of you have heard about it. And if you haven't, well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. I'm learning about it myself. So if I get some of the stuff wrong, don't beat me up in the comments about it, but definitely hit me up on the comments if you have any suggestions or something that you are trying worked. The keto diet is pretty much, just to make a long story short, is pretty much eating high fat foods, high fat, um, healthy fat foods, protein, and very little of carbs, like very little carbs. To help me track my keto diet, I do have an app on my phone that is called MyFitnessPal. And I pretty much log in every single thing that I eat on that app. And that helps me to stay on track and to kind of know where I'm at. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of products. This is just a couple of products that I found recently that I am implementing into my diet. For the keto, as I mentioned, it is high healthy fats. I have not a clue what high healthy fats is clearly because the first time I started this, I just was eating way more protein and a good amount of fats, but clearly not enough. I was, it was way more protein and I was still eating a chunk of carbs. Now on my fitness pal, or actually online, you can actually Google online if you're interested in this diet. You can actually Google online the keto calculator and it'll ask you for like your weight, your age, your BMI, I think how your, what your height is, and then it calculates what your percentage is for fats, protein, and carbs you should be having a day, or at least how many grams. And then you can put that in your app if you have one, and you can go from there. According to my height, my age, um, my weight, this is what I'm supposed to be having in a day. So 90 grams of fat, I'm sorry, 90 grams of protein, 110 grams of fat, and 18 grams of carbs in one day. So for calories, I'm supposed to be having 1,432 calories for the whole day. Now, to give you a perspective percentage-wise of how much I'm supposed to have in a day for each, I am supposed to have only 5% of my daily average. You guys, 5% of my daily average, so of everything I've eaten and drank in a day, only 5% of that could be carbs. That is hard. It's way harder than I thought. For fats, again, healthy fats, I'm supposed to have 75%, which as of today, I'm doing 65%, so I'm almost there. I haven't had dinner yet. And then for protein, I'm supposed to be having 20. Now, the challenge that I was having at the beginning of this is my fats and my protein. I was having way more protein, as I mentioned before, and not enough fats. And then the carbs, like I said, it is 5%. Today I'm only at four. I already know what I'm having for dinner, so I know I'm not gonna have any more fats, but I'm sorry, any more carbs. My carbs are at 4%. But it was really hard to kind of figure out, you know, what the differences were for each and how to get to that percentage because I mean, the fats, what I thought wasn't healthy, actually was healthy, and it was a healthy fat. So I am still learning, you know, I'm only on week two. I hate to say it, but I haven't been able to weigh myself, you guys, because I my scale broke, 
and um, my other one hasn't gotten here yet. So <laughs> I haven't weighed myself yet, so I don't know how much I weighed. But actually, this is actually only week one. Actually, I'm lying. This is only week one because I started on a Tuesday and today is not even Tuesday. So this is only week one. So I haven't even done my weight. I don't know if I really want to weigh myself every single week because I feel as though that's going to make me kind of like obsessed with the weight thing. And yes, I'm doing this to lose weight, but I also want to just, you know, add something else for healthier lifestyle, um, you know, nutrition wise. So I don't know, but we'll probably get there at some point. So these are the products that I started incorporating and I found a lot of these products. I mean, one of them, a lot of them actually um, were like, I think Marshall's um, Christmas tree shop even. So you can find products like these pretty much anywhere. So one of the things was protein shakes. So protein shakes, I was making them before, but I was just using the regular whey protein. But again, because I'm totally doing a 360, I chose something that was organic and plant-based because I'm kind of leaning more towards things that are more you know, organic and plant-based. So I found this product, it is called Orgain, the brand is called Orgain, and it's organic protein plant-based protein powder, and this is what it looks like. It is um, 5 grams of organic fiber, 21 grams of, fi of protein, it's gluten-free, and I got the vanilla bean flavor because I really do love chocolate, like I love chocolate, but chocolate doesn't taste good with a lot of um, smoothies that I was making, so we got this. And also too, my kids actually like smoothies, so this is actually a good way to kind of, you know, sneak in that protein, that plant-based stuff, so you know. For this, I just use like two scoops of this. It says two scoops, but I'm gonna be quite honest, you guys, I think two scoops is a lot. So, I mean, I'll show you what two scoops looks like. This, I mean, I mean, I feel like that's a lot. I bought this at Market Basket. It was $12.99. So that is this product. Another product that I incorporated is these Parm Crisps. They are so good, you guys. These were only $2.99 at Market Basket. I got the cheddar and then I got the original. They're almost like croutons, but they're Parmesan. So they're just like little Parmesan bites. So they are really good. They're this is, this is what they look like. They're just these little croutons made out of Parmesan. One healthy fat that's actually really good for um, the diet that I'm doing for keto is Parmesan cheese and just cheese in general, which I was super excited to find out because I absolutely love cheese. Like ever since I was a kid, I love cheese. I, like a mouse, I absolutely love cheese. I absolutely love cheese. So these were a great addition to my diet these are gluten free so these are actually really good in that way so if you are trying a healthy diet and it has nothing to do with keto these are still good options for snacks now i have these a lot i actually love them they have when it comes to carbs they have one gram of carb they have zero sugars they have zero um fiber but the main thing that I look at always is just like how many carbs do they have? Do they have any sugars and whatnot? Now, for the keto, one thing that I do have to make sure that I do is the like reduce the sugar intake. Sugars is definitely another thing that I am weaning off of. I've been doing that for a very long time, actually. Even with my coffee, I changed my coffee a couple years ago from Dunkin's. I have a iced coffee, hazelnut, the shot. Not the swirl, because if you guys take the swirl from Dunkin' Donuts, that's actually like a ton of sugar. So if you just get the flavored shots, that has no sugar. So I usually have iced coffee with a hazelnut shot or a toasted almond shot, and then I add almond milk only. Because the almond milk that they use at Dunkin' Donuts is sweetened, I came across a couple options. So a lot of us have heard of Stevia. So Stevia, I got this one, it's the Organic Stevia Blend. This is what it looks like. And I just add like maybe one or two of these into my coffee or my tea if I want anything, you know, a little bit more sweet. These are organic and they have no fat, no sodium. They have less than a gram of carbs, no sugars, zero protein, it's like zero, 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 right? So they're super healthy and so this is something that I've used and it's keto friendly. But you can also use this again if you're just trying to reduce your sugar intake. I also tried 
this I got from a Christmas tree shop and this is called the it's from the coffee bar it's toasted almond sugar-free gourmet syrup so I got this so that when I make coffee at home I can have a flavor so I and I really love the toasted almond at Dunkin Donuts I just been obsessed with it so I found this at Christmas tree shop again $3.99 it has 000 for everything so it was keto friendly and it's a flavor that I liked and it's a pretty big bottle it's 25.4 ounces and this is what it looks like and this is the the label so another option for me was yogurt I love yogurt I used to have the Chobani yogurt that was like the flip one and it would have you know like nuts or almonds or coconut on one side and the Greek yogurt on the other side and you could just flip it over mix it all in it was amazing little did I know it had like 12 grams of carbs that one little yogurt thing so again one thing that I thought was super healthy turned out to be high in carbs which is what I'm trying to Reduced. So I found these cute little keto friendly yogurts and I got these on Market Basket. These little cups for me are keto friendly and it says keto friendly on it. It's not just specifically for keto. So again, another good product if you want something healthier, if you like yogurt but you want to get something that's a little bit healthier, this is a good option. So it has 15 grams of fat. So yes, it does have a lot of fat which is exactly what I needed. It only has 2 grams of carbs. 15 grams of protein and one gram of sugar. So it was totally friendly um, for keto. So this one I got, it's coconut. I actually love coconut. So this is an option. So this tea I got, it's called Golden Turmeric Ginger. It's natural, it has natural, it's actually naturally caffeine free, which is good because I have another tea that I like to take in the morning that does have caffeine. So I always try to watch the caffeine intake. And this is organic tea, and this is what it looks like. So I bought this tea at Market Basket. It was like $3.99. Turmeric is a really good ingredient. It's actually a spice, but it has a lot of benefits. Some of the benefits I'm gonna read to you guys, it boosts cognitive function, supports joint and muscle health, boosts detoxification, fights body-wide inflammation, supports cardiovascular function, promotes healthy mood balance, promotes youthful radiant skin, supports natural weight loss, is used for cancer treatment, is used for diabetes control or to control diabetes. It helps prevent liver disease or detoxifies the liver to reverse liver disease, which is one thing that I have is non-fatty liver disease, Alzheimer's prevention, cholesterol reduction, a stronger immune system. It also helps people who have multiple sclerosis. So, I mean, that's just a couple of the things that it's good for to help with the fats that I need to incorporate in my diet they say that using a vegetable oil is not a good option it's better to use something like avocado oil I think it's like chia seed oil or something like that but when I heard avocado oil I was all about it because I love avocados so this big bottle it looks like a wine bottle I bought it at Marshall's for $9.99 this is what it looks like now this is really good for cooking and it says it right on it used for healthier cooking and dressing no added no additives no preservatives as a hundred percent avocado oil pure the total fat it does have 14 grams of fat so again this is something that is great for me to cook with so if you again want a healthier option for oils avocado oil is definitely a great option to go and you can find avocado oil at your local grocery store at Marshall's at Target um, if you have a Walmart Superstore, you will find it. Another option that I have incorporated is this creamer and it's sweetened and it's keto friendly. And it has, um, it's vegan, it's sugar free. So this is what it looks like. Keto creamer. It doesn't necessarily have like any specific flavor, it's just straight keto cream. When I make coffee at home, I'll put a little bit of this in addition to the toasted almond syrup that I have to give it flavor, this is my creamer, and call it a day. Another thing that I've been doing a lot is making waters like these. So if you can see, I have a lot of things in here. <laughs> this one has lemons, it has mint leaves, it has cucumbers, and pineapples. Now, I do also like an another one that I make, and I kind of make the other one way more often. Other ones that I make, it's with lemon, it has mint leaves, 
cucumbers and it has ginger that's a really 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 good like detoxifying um water cut some up put it in a jar put it in a gallon of water and just let it sit you could even let it sit for a couple of hours it doesn't have to be overnight I make so many. I think I have like about 12 of these or something. I just make them all and just put them in the fridge. And as we empty them out, I make new ones. So I always have my water. This one again has pineapple and it just gives it a nice sweet flavor. It's just so good. So good. Very refreshing. And the mint gives it like a nice refreshing flavor to it. So yeah, you guys, that is just some of the things that I've been trying out as far as products that I've incorporated into my diet with keto. It's going well. I definitely am still learning about it. I definitely am still trying to figure out the fats um, or balance them, I should say. I've already figured out that part. It's just balancing it out. So I definitely feel a lot better. I feel more energized right now. They do say that you get into this mode called ketosis. And it's like when your body is like, pretty much getting like a flu because you've pretty much detoxed yourself from having all these carbs and all these other foods and sugars and your body is now using the fat um, for energy and that's how it's fueling your body rather than the carbs so that hasn't hit me yet but again it's only been just about a week that I started doing this diet so I'm sure that that will hit me I also have incorporated walking. I do walk for about three miles a day. I do have three dogs, as you guys know, and if you don't know yet, make sure you check out my intro video and you'll know how many animals I have. But I do have some animals and I do take them with me on walks. My daughter goes and walks with me. My partner walks with me. So, you know, it's we're, we're making it a family thing. We're still trying to get my son to walk with me, but you know, I'll get him there. I'll get him there. <laughs> So if you like videos like these and you want to see more, if you want to see more lifestyle videos, definitely subscribe down below and turn on your post notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a brand new video. Until next time guys, 